Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video we are decorating for Halloween. I have a Target Dollar Spot haul for you, some really great gift ideas, and a Saturday recipe. So if you are new here, I hope you will subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So I have begun getting the Halloween boxes up from the basement. I'm going to go about decorating a little bit different this year, keeping most of the decorations in the front hall, the living room, and the dining room. I usually heavily decorate, you know, my family room and kitchen, but we have decided to try to squeeze in some painting before the big holiday season hits, which I don't know how great of an idea that is, but we are going to try to paint the family room and the kitchen before the holidays. But today is Saturday and we have some decorating to do, so let's get started. I'm going to bring you guys along with me as I decorate for Halloween. So this year in the hallway, I decided to make another one of those bandana garlands. I made one over the summer um, around the 4th of July. I just think these are so easy to make. I am going to put a link to that video on down below and I give you know all the simple details on how you can make one for yourself. Basically, all you do is you cut your bandana into strips and you tie it onto one of those you know, little twine ropes, and it really gives a big color impact for very little money. And I was able to make one to go all the way up my stairs and across my banister up above. So the only other thing that I added to it was a little set of orange lights that I got from Target this year. And then up front, I just added another one of those um, witches hats with a big orange, black, and white bow just to finish everything off. I'm going to get started on putting my chili all together. It's about 3 in the afternoon, which is a little bit later than I wanted to get started, but I've been decorating for Halloween. And I'm going to be making my turkey chili, and when I do that, I like to get this Shady Brook Farms ground turkey. It's our favorite. It's really good quality. And I get about three of the packages, which are almost a pound and a half each. So I'm going to start browning this in my pan, and then I'm going to put together everything for my chili sauce in this pot here. And I have all of my extras and things that I will need for that. So I'm going to get started on here. I think I have a video. Um, of my chili recipe. So I will link that for you on down below so you can take a look at it. So I'm going to get this started and I will be back in just a minute. So here in the dining room, I am working on my centerpiece for my dining room table. I went ahead and laid down this table runner that I found at Hobby Lobby. It's just a black and white buffalo check table runner. And I laid down a little piece of this pretty pumpkin color ribbon right down on top of it. Then I've layered a couple pieces. Um, this is an old frame that I have had for such a long time. I used to have it in my den on my china cabinet. And this is just a bakery, black and white bakery sign that I used to have above my stove. I really like to layer centerpieces because I think that it gives it a lot of interest, it gives it a lot of height, and you can add a lot of things to it without it looking too overwhelming, though I tend to like to crowd a lot of things into a little space. I just like the way that looks. I have gathered some of the things that I want to use in my centerpiece, and I'm going to stick as closely as I can to that black and white color theme. Over on my china cabinet, I have um, Welcome to My Haunted Farmhouse sign that I found at the Target dollar spot, which is great because it's right in that black and white color theme. So over here, I have some witch's boots. I have collected a lot of these things over the years. I think I found these at Michael's probably three years ago. I have some little skeleton beads here. I have a Ray Dunn skeleton canister that I found this year. I have a um, skeleton or a skull snow globe. I have some black leaves. These are really cute. I found these this year at the Dollar Tree. They are little skeleton hand serving spoons, so I'm going to work that somewhere into my arrangement. And I have one of my favorite Halloween decorations of all time, this little pumpkin man that I found so many years ago 
down in Ocean City, Maryland. I have often wondered if anybody knows the artist or the designer of these pieces. I have about three of them and I would love to find more of them because they are really truly some of my favorite things. So. I'm going to take some time and try to <laughs> arrange all these things into something a little cohesive here on my centerpiece. I already have my one white pumpkin up here on the pedestal. I might change that out. We're going to see how that looks. So I have added a few um, orange pumpkins here that I had shared in a previous video in the fall. These are from the Dollar Tree that I just painted, a really nice deep pumpkin color. And now I want to add some greenery. This is just a lamb's ear that I always use in this arrangement. I'm just going to kind of fit it in here and there. And then I removed a bunch of the black leaves from um, from that big pick that I got at Michael's and I'm just going to scatter these here and there throughout the arrangement. So I am pretty happy with the way this has turned out so far. As you can see, I added some of the lamb's ear here and there and I kind of made it um, coming out each end to give it a little length and I've added some of those um, black leaves throughout and I even added in our little um, farmhouse bead DIY that we made a few videos back. So I am going to tweak this up a little bit and finish the room and you will see the whole finished product in my Halloween home tour. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that every year around Halloween I send out big gift boxes to all the young kids in my life who are away from home and at school for the holiday. I thought I would share with you this haul that I have put together of all the stuff that I'm going to be sending out to my college kids this year. I usually find most of my stuff at like the Dollar Tree or Target Dollar Spot. I have to say I was a little disappointed this year in the Target Dollar Spot. They just didn't have you know, the same types of things that they had in years past, but I was able to put together, I think, a really good collection. So first of all, I always like to send something that they can get together and make and share with their roommates or, you know, their friends down the hall or whatever. So this year I have included their Funfetti cake mixes where they can whip up, you know, either like a 9 by 13 cake or some cupcakes. I've also included the Funfetti frosting that comes with, you know, the little um, sprinkles and things that go on top. I was also able to find some of these really cozy socks. They have a little pumpkins on them and I have a pair that is all striped and you know these are always nice and cozy for those first couple you know cool fall nights. I'm also going to be sending some bandanas that they can you know put in their hair or around their neck or in their back pocket, whatever they want to do for um, Halloween. And I found these on Amazon and I'll leave a link to them down below. It was a really great price. I was able to buy um, a dozen of each color. Next, I found these little candy dishes in the Target dollar spot. Now in years past, they've had um, a bigger selection of candy dishes and a bunch of different like ghosts and vampires and mummies and things like that. I was only able to find um, these little witches and they were much smaller than they have been in the past years. But what I do with these is I just fill the little mouse with their favorite candy and wrap it all up in cellophane and um, send it in their boxes. These are also great if you want to do a little um, fun teacher gift for you know the Halloween holiday just put you know like hand sanitizer chapstick those kinds of things in her mouth wrap it all up with a big bow and it's really a fun and sweet gift I also found at the Target dollar spot these um, cute little sequence pumpkins that I thought were really different and fun to include I also found this cute little glitter cat to include in with the boxes. I've come up with a bunch of different um, garlands that the Target Dollar Spot had this year. I thought this little um, witch on her broom was really cute and there's these tombstones that you can write on with some chalk that you know you could put anything you want on them. I thought those were really cute. 
And I also wanted to share with you some of the cards that I got at the Dollar Tree this year. I think I mention this every year because I really think it is such a great deal. These are all Hallmark cards and they're only 50 cents a piece and you just cannot beat the price for the quality. So I picked up this really cool owl. I think they had this the last couple years and I always get a couple of these. I love this card with the little ghost and the town. And there was a couple that had like such a little vintage feel. There was this one with the pumpkins and the black cat. I got a couple of those. And then this one, I liked a whole bunch. Um, this says happy Halloween and has glitter. And it's only 50 cents. You just can't go wrong with these. So this is what I picked up for my Halloween boxes this year. I'm gonna be putting these together later on today. And I'm gonna try to get them in the mail this week. One thing that you can do that is easy, inexpensive, and makes a really big impact is to make yourself a whole flock of bats. And you can find templates for this online. I found mine at danamadeit.com and I will leave a link to her site down below. And I just printed it out in a bunch of different sizes. I traced it on some cardstock and cut it out. And I'm going to be loading these all over my front hallway and probably in my dining room as well. You cannot get easier or budget or more budget friendly than this. It takes really no time at all. You can just trace them out and cut them out while you're watching television and you will have a whole flock to work with. So I'm gonna finish cutting these out and I will show you how I'm gonna use them when I'm all done. I went ahead and added my little flock of bats here in my living room and I just love projects like this. I think any of us, we can go out and get a pack of black construction paper or a $6 pack of black cardstock at Michael's and just trace and cut out a ton of these and it makes such a big impact in a small area. So. All you need to do to hang these up, because they're only gonna be up for a couple weeks, is just make yourself like a little circle of tape, like masking tape or um, painter's tape on the back, just like this, and it'll be enough to hold them up for the few weeks that they are there. So I am going to finish my flock here, and then I'm gonna start doing a few more out in my front hall. So our chili is all done and we are going to be sitting down to eat. I will be linking the chili video and recipe in the description box on down below. I am super excited to share with you guys my full Halloween tour next week. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. So thank you so much for watching today. Please leave me a comment on down below and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at MyBashfulLife. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other and I will see you again soon. Bye!